Hey guys, quick video to look at the new patch DMS release, the long awaited alliances patch. So I've been frantically modding today just to get it working uh, with it. So it's now working, it's been released, it's patch 2.23. Remember to exit Steam and restart it for it to download and it should work, uh, hopefully. Uh, if not, uh, unfortunately, you may need to re-download. So anyway, uh, there's two new maps with it. So I'll put in Sehinkle's Streets and also Sehinkle's Okinawa. Feel free to play test. Looking for replays, guys, if you manage to play uh, alliances with the new maps or basically with anything, I'm interested to see the combos um, you guys come up with. So, uh, so what else has changed? Uh, other than that, we've got officers increasing price uh, by 20 MP. Uh, Medium caliber artillery, 40 plus MP, 50 plus MP to long range uh, heavy caliber artillery. Uh, for ja Japan, all the start timers for light vehicles have been removed except the 20 millimeter one. Um, a Zuzu 20 millimeter truck is now 200 MP from 250. Uh, SSD reduced price, 50 MP. Finland reduced the assault squad price to a 5 MP. Uh, UK swapped the Elite MG Bren with the Vickers. Uh, VCOM, British Commonwealth, LRDG 20mm truck now comes at 220 from 230. France, 75mm uh, Snyder Howitzer is 180 MP from 160. And Hungary, Elite 8 Infantry fixed the bug with the Piat ammo instead of Panzer Shreks ammo. Then the Veteran Taz is now 8 SP from 7 SP. Uh, more coming, I just had to rush through just some balance changes with the current patch. I was planning to do a lot more changes because, uh, uh, but because I, uh, this patch I had to rush it out. So anyway, let's take a look. You got this alliance thing. Uh, obviously, you can uh, add players. So let's add a bot. I can make him Italy. Let's say I add uh, my opponent heroic. Let's make him uh, France and make the other guy mm, Commonwealth. So. Yeah, uh, be no, be aware that uh, if you have an 8v8, please, I would say not 8v8, probably a bad example, 6v6. Uh, try not to choose six different allied teams and five different Axis teams, because it'll probably crash or play really, really slowly. So, um, yeah, I would restrict it to basically two per team, in my opinion. I haven't really tested it, though, but that's my guess. Um, then you've got teams and players, I'm not sure. I guess that's just without the alliances. Uh, so that's now working. Um, there's a few other cool things, I guess. I haven't they haven't released a change log for this, by the way. So um, this random spawn point things. Let's just tick this. I'm interested in that. Then there's user performance. You can restrict people in the game to only good performance. That's pretty cool. And you can just based on games played, I guess. But really, this really doesn't matter. People with less games are better than people with lots of games. I can't really tell, to be honest. Um, so let's just take a quick look. Um, again, guys, give me your replays. I need them. Don't get to play too much. Uh, I've got a few games I've uploaded. Just sorry, I've, I've played and recorded. I just haven't had a chance to upload them. I'll, I'll upload them first. So you'll see a few games without the alliances patch coming up. Then after that, hopefully it'll just be all the new alliances stuff. Um, so tournament wise, um, tournament, um, I'm thinking of starting in August, but random small points didn't do anything. Um, thinking of starting in August, oh, see that trailer, a trailer on the mini map. Um, again, thinking of starting in August because two of the main teams like Wild Hunt and Epic Wartime can't really play in July due to their Due to the holidays, they're going away, and I don't think it'd be a good idea to start a tournament with two without two of the favourites. But uh, I'm also thinking of starting a group stage, so there'll be a qualifying stage where, so so basically we can start in July. Um, so there'll be a few teams that make it through automatically, just because they're just well known and obviously proved and proven themselves in tournaments in the past, and there'll be the majority of the other teams will be playing for uh, playing for a spot in the 
double elimination. So it'll be a group stage first with the qualifiers, then double them. That's my idea, guys. I haven't decided yet 100%. But I think that's probably the best way to get the tournament started as quick as possible. And also, it might even help give the, I guess, the less regular, uh, less regular and more experienced, less experienced teams a chance to play that with each other without getting absolutely trashed by the top teams. So it benefits that way as well. And as well as giving uh, the top teams that can't make it time to come back on August to play it out. So yeah, it works guys. Give me your replays. Uh, nothing really to show in this video. So I think I'll just close it. It's just pretty much the AI. It's going to be fun to watch. Um, yeah, I'll be putting up some videos with the, uh, with the mod, hopefully with uh, good players shortly.